Hey up, welcome back. Benny Vapes here with another review. So today, what we're going to be looking at is an item I picked up for this review, and it is the Artery PAL 3. So I have had the Artery PAL Pro. I didn't think it were that good. Um, I thought it were a bit pants, to be honest with you. Um, if, if I might put a ticket up there, and you can go click on that and have a look at it. But this came out, and I had a look at it, and I thought it do not look too bad, that, actually. Um, a nice little AIO device. So I picked it up. I will point out that it hasn't got Tony B's name on it this time. So I don't know what's happened there. I don't know if he's fallen out with Artery or it, it was just a one-off. I don't know. But he hasn't got Tony B's name on it, so I'm guessing he's not involved. So what we'll do is we'll dive down low. We'll have a look around the device. I'll show you what you get. And then we'll come back up and we'll have a little chinwag about it. So I'll see you in a minute. Right, so we're back up top looking at the Artery PAL 3. And this one is candy red, but it has got gold accents on it, which I don't think looks that bad, to be honest with you. With the gold, it was quite nice. So it comes with a 0 0.7 HP coil, which is new, and it comes with a 1.2 ohm coil, which is new as HP coil, which is the new. They're new coils. I've looked around for the coils and you can't buy them anywhere. I can't get any of the HP, the new HP coils. I can get the old coils, but I can't get the new ones. Um, so whether I'm going to have to go to China for that, I don't know. So that's just something to bear in mind. 
that you can't get the new coils. And why I'm mentioning is that for is because I wasn't able to use a 0 0.7 ohm coil because I did my down low, put it in the box and forgot to turn it off. And when I took it out of the box to try the 0 0.7 coil out of it, I hit the button and burnt the coil out. So a little reminder of myself is turn fucking things off. <laughs> it's be a good idea you know so i did burn the coil out so i was unfortunately not able to use that and that's why i looked around for some more coils um because i burnt that one out i did try to use it but it just turned tasted fucking burnt it was proper burnt it wasn't even a little bit burnt it was fucking totally gone so i've been rocking the 1.2 ohm coil and the flavor of it is really really nice i've had this in just over a week and it's been really nice flavor and it's still going strong so I, i'm a bit disappointed that i couldn't use the 0 0.7 and then i couldn't buy any more coils to replace it but if i do get some i will do you an update on that um probably on the live show and let you know what that's like it is your cube design it's a little bit like the orchid you know it's that sort of shape you know with a top pull off pod it is held done with some good magnets. It is quite strong. There is a little bit of resistance there. It does come with a adjustable airflow that you can move it round, so you can get like a restricted direct along, or you can you know adjust it for the mouth along. It's not super tight. It's not super super tight. You can get a little bit tighter because there's the air intake. You can cover that over if you so wish. You know, so you could do that. which makes it a little bit tighter, but it's not a super tight mouth to lung. It is a loose mouth to lung, um, but not a, a loose, you know, direct to lung sort of thing. You, you, can, you just dial it in a little bit, but it's not super tight. So to fill it up, all you do is put your nail underneath there, lift it up, and you've got a nice big kidney hole to get your bottle in, which I'm quite impressed on a device this small, because sometimes they kidney holes can be a little bit small but this one i think it's quite nice and then the rung of the bung just sits back in and i do like that you can get your finger underneath it because sometimes you can stroll to get them up but this one's nice and easy and it's just there plain and simple it has only got one button for the menu that annoys me because you've got to scroll all the way around to get back to where you want to be it is fast scrolling but it's just annoying and it does lock the coils so it won't let you go past the 12 watts for this 0 0.12 and the device only goes up to 25 watts anyway. It's a 1000 milliamp hour battery. You know, so you're getting about half a day out of it before I have to charge it when I'm using it. You know, it's not full on my main device, but I have been using it and testing it out. And like I say, it is about um, half a day on it and then I've got to charge it up it's type c charging but it is only one amp type c charging so it takes about two hours two and a half hours to charge it up fully the menu screen some people won't like it because it is rather small but it is bright i wear glasses for reading i can see that do you know what i mean so i don't have a problem the usual information it tells you battery level your resistance your puff counter and everything to lock the wattage it's three clicks and that locks the wattage still lets you fire it three clicks unlocks the wattage and then you can adjust it but all in all it feels nice it has got a little bit of weight behind it because it is zinc alloy and it don't feel cheaply made you know that's the main thing about it the tank is pctg so just be careful with your tank crackers you know like your anises and things like that it may well fog your tank up i can't tell you for definite because i don't use them sort of things but if you are going to use your anaseeds, just be careful because it may well crack the tank. The mouthpiece is non-removable um, and it is your duckbill or your whistle tip type. You know, I particularly don't like that sort of thing because you drop it on the floor and you smash the tip, then you've got to buy a new pod. You can't just change the tip out, which I prefer it to have a removable 510 drip tip which you can put anyone you want in because some people might not like that whistle tip i don't mind them i think they're quite nice in the mouth like i say the coils are working really really well 
but you just can't buy the fuckers. <laughs> That's the only downside. There is nowhere in the UK that's stocking the new Archipal 3 HP coils. Whether EC1 or Evolution Vase pin will get them in, I can't tell you that, but at the moment, you can't buy them in the UK. But if you're looking for a nice little device and you like the Archery Pal series, I don't think you'll be disappointed with this. I've been enjoying it. I enjoyed this over the Archery Pal 2 by Tony B. And that's another thing. There isn't Tony B's name on this anyway. So he's not part of this one. You know, so he, has, he hasn't had a hand in this. So it is just Archery. And, you know, even Archery is nice and discreet there. I think it's quite nice. I think for the price that I paid for it, I wasn't disappointed because I paid £15.80 for this, which for this sort of device, I think it's quite nice at £15.80. I probably wouldn't pay £25 for it, but for the £15 to £20 mark, I'd definitely buy one. Just a shame that you can't buy the new coils for it. You know, that makes it a little bit disappointing. But yeah, it's a not bad little kit. I'm quite enjoying it, to be honest with you. So if you are looking around for a nice little discreet kit that you can carry around with it with a thousand milliamp hour battery and you like the Archery Pal series, then you're not going to be disappointed with it. If you've never tried an Archery Pal, I'd definitely try this one over the Pal 2. It's a little bit smaller, a little bit more discreet. And I particularly didn't like the Archery Pal 2 Pro. I just didn't like it at all. But this... I'm quite enjoying and I think it's quite nice and it's definitely worth 15 to 20 pounds so do your google foo and have a look around and see if you can pick it up but yeah not a bad little kit from Artery quite impressed with it and I think you can't go wrong paying like 15 20 pounds I hope you found this video informative you can find me on Twitter you can find me on Instagram you can also find me on a Wednesday night you can also find me on a Sunday night Wednesday night we have the UK e-liquid mixing show Sunday night we have NUVS all at 9 o'clock all on this channel. I will put a link to a video I think you might enjoy and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.